Well, good morning, guys. It is going to be Monday, November 7th. There's one of the dogs. I have both my dogs with me, and uh, my daughter's actually asleep in her. She's supposed to be asleep in her car seat. Uh, I'm just doing some local, kind of getting the re rest of the week set up here. I'm at the Loves in Hagerstown, Maryland, trying to get fuel. Glad to see fuel went up another 40 cents last night. We're approaching six dollars even i'm at and i'm just at the loves because this seems to be the cheapest with um my um tsd card hey can you stop panting it's not it's cold in here anyways i um yes this is the cheapest even with my tsd card it's still like 560 or something mm -hmm. This place is a disaster. There's people beeping horns and, and everything. And people blocking the parking lot. And I pulled up to the first pump because there's nobody here. Nobody makes it this far. I guess it would be the first pump, but the last pump when you pull in, nobody drives that far and just blocks everything up over there. And I've just got the 20 foot um, bumper pool trailer because I'm picking up a single truck bed. But I haven't seen any shortages yet on fuel, which I'm kind of a little nervous because I have a couple. A couple longer trips coming up I'm supposed to supposed to have one to like Michigan maybe um, there's one to North Carolina and then there's one to Ohio and back I gotta get to Ohio again this week for a, just a small load for substation parts which is I, I say yes to that work every time as long as I I'm like not scheduled out enough i try to keep my he also told me to try to keep my schedule free this week uh to help him out which i'm happy to do uh so we got to run to ohio and then the michigan ones for a supercar uh which you'll probably be seen on a youtube channel somewhere you'll guys will see it down the line he said he was trying to wire the guy the money today for it um but that may have to wait till next week if he wants me to get it um what else what else? And then North Carolina has a set of garage doors for, um, if you guys remember the, the gentleman that owns that massive, beautiful garage, and I picked up his Corvette. I've hauled a bunch of his other cars for him, but um, he owns a couple uh, storage units, like complexes. So he must be building a new one in the, the garage doors they buy for him are in North Carolina. And he texted me and said, hey, do you have a flatbed by chance? If not, I have one. Can you get these for me? Um, and he's supposed to be getting me the dimensions because uh, he's got like over a hundred doors that need picked up but they're not all ready so I'm gonna try to get some fuel here and I'll see what it ends up costing us but I snuck up into this one because I only got the uh, like I said the little 20 foot bumper pool behind me um, it's gonna be a single truck bed it's seven foot 425 pounds is all it is so that's why I bring this small trailer. And actually my girlfriend's gonna deliver it for me. She's always willing to help me out and uh, do what she can, you know, with having the baby at home. Um, and it's only like an hour from our house delivery. So the baby, well, he's not, I mean, he's four months old now. So like during one of his naps, she can just go deliver that. Well, that should be cool. And uh, it'll, I'll pay her and, uh, you know, being a stay at home, pretty much a stay at home mom other than shipping horses. I'll be a little extra money for her. And it'll get it off my list so I can go out and and you know make more money. We can make money as a team, which is the the end goal. And just like that, a quick switch over to the single car enclosed. Gotta go pick up an in-op vehicle, and uh, it ends up going down to Lexington Park for uh, Maryland. Probably get delivered first thing this morning. It's uh, 128. It'll be 2:30 by the time we pick it up. And uh, I'm not gonna really mess with DC traffic at that time of the day. Man, I'm not gonna complain about this sun because it is 75 degrees in November, but I can't see a dang thing. Should be looking for an older- Turn right on Olivine Court. Yep, should be looking for an older MR2 in the circle. Ah, oh, I see it. This makes it perfect, I can I can swing around and the customer just let you arrive at your destination right there for me all right there it is 
just gonna drift it up there. It doesn't run, but it will roll. Unlock the trailer here and see what we got. Hey, it's like magic, baby. These windows are now they're power. I can't put the window down. I don't have my jump box with me, but it's coming up in beautiful. And just like that, Jason's rollback at your service. clean this windshield but sun just came up here we're in southern maryland like way down at the mouth of the chesapeake uh, in an area called lexington park uh, getting ready to turn off this main road here and uh, find this guy's driveway and shop that i'm dropping this mr2 off to uh, i talked to the guy who owns this place last night he showed me where to park it because he wouldn't be home I don't know if the guy that I picked it up from sold the car or this guy is working on it because it has like a bunch of parts and stuff in it. So there's a sunrise over the Chesapeake. Just a little bright this morning. A little bright and it definitely cooled down a bunch. I mean, it was 75 degrees yesterday. Turn right on Hermanville Road and, and turn left on Devon Circle. Woke up this morning and it was down to 45. So I think. Uh, I think we're finally gonna get our fall into winter weather here. And uh, unfortunately, I'll be complaining about how cold it is until spring. Do I look tired? What a headache this business can be. Um, I'm gonna make a video, I think, probably put it on the main channel, or I might make it in tomorrow's episode, depending on, someone wants to see what we're doing. Depending on um, how this goes, um, I'm trying to make a video about like doing things yourself in this business because relying on other people is essentially just going to cost you money when there's things you could do yourself and um <clears throat> i might explain some of it but it has to do uh kind of with the state of the economy and um i don't want to say too much because it's, it's still an ongoing saga i guess and uh, we'll see how it turns out but um it uh like when it comes to doing like your own dispatching and you know your, even your paperwork to set up your company uh you shouldn't be relying on other people to do that the more stuff you can keep in-house is the more money you can make and your drivers can make and i'm i'm learning that and it's so cutthroat right now that some things have to change and uh you know some you got to cut costs where you can, and, and that's kind of what I'm trying to do with my business. And it's giving me a headache. I've, I didn't sleep very well last night, uh, dealing with it this morning, and then um, just trying to uh, uh, work on expansion in all the right ways. That's pretty much all I can say. Don't expand too quick. You see what happens when that, when you don't have systems in place and you expand too quick. Um, and then if you're scared, you'll never grow. So it's just trying to find that happy medium. But, uh, we've got our, uh, oh, a little pizza eater. She's just like me. She can't eat pizza if it doesn't have ranch on it. 